sweet souls. How are you? It's your forest fairy here. Nice to see you again. Well, spiritual Sundays, which means we're doing an angelic whispers read. I am I am going to keep the spiritual Sundays for the summer. I'm doing something completely different because my recording schedule um, is changing with the kids being home for the summer. Now, um, I started this channel February 5th, so that was in the middle of winter here in the north, um, and the kids were in school. The kids have been in school this whole time, so that means I can easily record because five kids is a lot, and trying to keep all five quiet, especially with this microphone I have, which picks up everything. Uh, so I've been trying to figure out what am I going to do for the summer. This is my first summer with this channel up running. Now, I have got some beautiful things planned, some really interesting reads, and um, I want to have fun with the kids and, and do stuff in the summer. So with that, I'm not going to do as much editing because me and the kids are in that office editing these videos. We, as since the channel started, have been pumping out 16 videos a week. Um, and if you, if, if you have never edited before, and, and again, I was all brand new to this, um, every about 20 minute video takes at least four hours to edit. So you do the math. It's a lot of time spent dedicated not only to recording, but to editing for this channel. And I will continue to do so come September uh, and get the 12 zodiac signs up and running again weekly in September. But for the summer, I'm doing something completely different. I haven't done it. We'll see how it goes. It will decrease the um, the reads. I'll still upload every day. So I will upload a read every day, but it won't be edited. And I was deciding whether or not to keep um, my spiritual Sundays. And I have decided that yes. In fact, I'm going to keep both Angelic Whispers and Christ Consciousness up for Sundays. So that will still be edited. It will still look the same. It will still be the same. So I just thought I'd mention that because it's 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 happening as of Monday. This is Sunday, so tomorrow. So having said that, let's focus in on what the angels want to convey, what the messages from the angels, what they're whispering to you, sweet souls. What are the what are the angels whispering? Let's take a look. Right there, spiritual support. During, do you notice the darkness? During this time of darkness, I'm, um, I really felt it last week. I really did. Felt, uh, it felt this sense of darkness. Oh, it was, I was moody, I'll tell you. I had to really just get out. Uh, and so when I see this card, the first thing I see is darkness. And then I see that light, which is in the heart chakra which is in all of us, that's our, our, our soul, our spirit, our spark of God. And dear angels, it says here, I allow you to support me as I grow, to become more spiritually aware. It's this awakening process that each one of us, we have our guardian angels, we have our angel teams. Whether you believe it or not, it's a fact, we all are protected from the darkness, which is really feeling like it's it's taking over, it's not. It's really not. The Because you are protected. The energy that crosses is peace and harmony. Yes, it's finding that peace and harmony within. It's finding peace and harmony with God. Remembering that we are sparks of God. Remembering that our souls are here. We chose to be here at this time for a reason and it's to help each other because we are all one one from the single source from god 
That's where we all come from. Now, it's to remember that with peace and harmony, that's our connection to God. Clear your vibes, absolutely. Do you notice the red in each one of these angels? It's really, yeah, thank you, Metatron, for clearing my energy field, for helping. These are the angels that are really helping us fight. This is a spiritual battle out here. Fight those very, I'm going to say organized, and I don't want to give them power. They don't, they only have power. The old saying, um, you have nothing to fear but fear itself. So fear is what they, what feeds them. And again, it's that old Aboriginal story of which wolf are you feeding? Are you feeding fear? Are you feeding love, hope, joy? What are you feeding? Um, some of us get really dragged down. Some of us really fall victim to the fear, to the fear mongering, to the Wetiko energies of negativity. And then it, it, it takes your, takes, it, it requires you taking your personal power back. For some of it's you, it's through meditation. For others, it's um, getting out of the city, getting away from others, and and to recharge, to reestablish your relationship with your angels, with God. The angels are are really sort of um, energies, not only that protect but inspire and guide. And finding peace within, clearing your vibes. This is what we are required to do in this spiritual war. Focus and foundation. Loved ones in heaven. So not only do you have your angel support, your spiritual support, you also have those that knew you in this lifetime, in that may have passed on. They're also watching out for you, looking out for you if you have thoughts of them. That's them connecting with you. I connect with my grandmother as an example all the time. Piscean woman. She was a Piscean sun and a Capricorn moon. And so I connect with her quite often. And so she was one that told me, whenever someone, you know, pops into your head, you can be sure they were thinking of you. This was her way of really expressing that we are all one. There will be a day, maybe we won't see it. But our children and definitely grandchildren will um, experience a time where we can telepathically communicate, where the phones that we use now will be, oh, remember when we used to use phones to get a hold of each other? That's so hilarious. Where it's funny to even think that that's what we needed. At, we needed that technology at that time to be able to connect with others when now we just think of them. So, in the recent past, Shine your light, and that's exactly what I saw at the very, like, that is your light. Shine your light. Find peace and harmony in doing so. This is a time of positivity, especially with the darkness being so, it's getting so much air time. It's getting too much air time. It's getting too much, and we're feeding into it. Each one of us, whenever we um, buy into a story, buy into a narrative, buy into a uh, uh, an ideology or in doctor being in doctor uh, I want to say indoctrination but it doesn't sound right <laughs> oh you know what I'm saying I can't say the word I'm just gonna say ideology these beliefs that are so I'm just gonna say reversed from those teachings of God and who's the reverse we all know I don't even I don't even want to say his name. I don't want to give him time. Uh, the energy in the near future. Forgiveness. This, These two I'm really seeing as um, Uriel. And Uriel. And I see. I don't know where the emphasis goes on what syllable with these names. Jeremy. Jeremy. No, that doesn't sound right. Because Uriel, Eel, Jeremiel, 
Jeremiah, let's say that. I don't know. He's the angel of forgiveness. Forgiveness starts with yourself. And here's the thing. God taught us through Christ, through Christ, that he, he will and always will forgive us. We're human. We will make mistakes. We will make choices that aren't the best for us and those around us. That goes against his teachings. It goes against the word. And when we come back, when we rediscover him, when we say, Oh, Lord, I'm so sorry. Of course he forgives. Of course he does. So we have to forgive ourselves for making those mistakes, making, maybe making those decisions that we know weren't mistakes because we knew exactly what we were doing. My dad taught me about mistakes versus sins. Mistakes are when you didn't know. Like, I didn't know. Like, I saw a shiny coin, right, on, let's say, my brother's dresser. And I'm little. I didn't know it was his special silver dollar. I just liked it because it shined. Whatever, right? And so I took it. That's a mistake. You give it back to him. You talk it out, forgive him. And then you see it again. You know it's not yours. You know it's not right to take. You know it's, it's stealing, but it's, you want it. He doesn't deserve it, I deserve it. These, these conversations in your head that convince you to take that coin, right? Now it's a sin. Before it was a mistake. Now it's a sin, because you've learned from those mistakes, you've learned. And now you've made the decision to take something that's not yours. Now you've made the decision. This is where forgiveness comes into play. You can still be forgiven for all your sins, as God has, has already told us, has already shown us. However, it's making those decisions, taking the right path, the path of righteousness, the path of integrity, the path of doing what's right, even when no one is watching. That's integrity. How you see yourself, sweet souls, is transition, as real. The angel of change and transition. This is the, the, oh, look at that. Now I have to look at them. Oh, put them back this way. All right, they'll come up. That was interesting. <laughs> change and transition is happening as we speak. All of us are going through change. All of us are going through transition, and it's transitioning into this new age. Now, how the angels see us as really discovering our inner power, really, oh, I'm loving this card, reestablishing our relationship with the Divine Father, with God. Hope and our fear, love and accept yourself, as God does. When we rediscover and reestablish a relationship with God, we understand the unconditional love He has for us, and thus we can unconditionally love and accept ourselves. No matter what we've done, no matter what we have to forgive ourselves for, there's always room for change and transition. The one thing that we know that life offers all the time, every day, is change. The last card, potential outcome is count your blessings. Be grateful. Live a life of gratitude. When you live a life of gratitude, it changes your vibration. It really does. Be thankful. And as she's doing, maybe write it down. Write down the things that you're grateful for. So then, and date it so you can look back and say, look at what I was grateful for a year ago, a month ago, a week ago. And then as you get older and older, maybe you won't remember the things that are happening now. Who knows? But you can have those journals, those, those um, gratitude journals to either share with the people that you love or just to keep for yourself. That which you might not see, sweet souls, are your spiritual gifts. I definitely know that there's a lot of you out there that don't see your spiritual gifts. What are they? They're all individual. They're all unique to every single one of us. Like in the 3D world, some of us are really great at, let's say, playing an instrument. I play piano, but I certainly can't play guitar. Uh, some of us are really good at, at 
physical, like running, but they can't jump. Some of us are really great at swimming, but they can't um, leap or ride a bike on an Olympic level, right? Or any level for that matter. So these are all physical gifts that we each have that makes us unique and different. So spiritual gifts are the same. Spiritual gifts, so not all of us are going to be able to, let's say, I don't know, um, read energies. Not all of us are going to be able to, let's say, time travel, to teleport, to um, levitate, to read the minds of others. I can read energies, but I have no idea what you're thinking, right? That kind of thing. Those are all spiritual gifts that each one of us have that we're all unlocking and all discovering and all like, whoa, I didn't know I could move cards without actually not touching them. Cool. Let's go deeper. Sweet souls, let's go deeper. Clarify with the tarot. Let's go deeper with the tarot. Clarify. Spiritual support for my sweet souls. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Oh, we got a side story. Let's see how many we got. One, two, three, four. Okay, so this is a backstory to the spiritual support that you are experiencing right now. It's the, it's the end of the world as we know it. And I feel fine. Okay. Oh, that REM song. Okay, the world. There is a completion and a brand new beginning. And it's a victorious and it's like graduation. It's graduation time for a lot of you students out there. So this is the change in the Saturn. Oh, in Pisces. Yes, this is the beginning of a brand new world that we are working on with the Eight of Pentacles. And the Take Care Queen. This could also speak of, because this is a Capricorn energy, of um, Pluto going back into Capricorn. I think it's 29 degrees. And being patient. Okay, so being patient with the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles takes care. She's like, take care, Queen. So she takes care of business. She takes care of family. She takes care of home. She takes care of herself. I believe that this... Queen of Pentacles is really taking care of her spiritual gifts, of really figuring out what it is that she can do and then working on it for this new world. Bottom of the deck. Again, Ten of Wands. The responsibilities of the spiritual gift. The responsibility of change. The responsibility of taking care of your spiritual self, your physical self, your mental self, your emotional self, but also your spiritual self. So, clarify. So this take care of queen, the work that you're doing, the inner work, the spiritual work, the emotional, mental, and spiritual work. That take care of queen, that queen of pentacles. That's, that's what you're doing out there, sweet souls. You're taking care of yourself. Just know that you're supported. Know that you're protected. That's too big. I'm not even going to look at it. That was a lot of cards. Oh, there she is. Okay, the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands, as we talk about spiritual gifts, the Queen of Wands, she's a warm queen that knows her magic. She's my magical queen. She's really the one that dances between realms, between worlds, the, that of the spiritual world and that of the 3D world. She can jump from three to five to seven to all sorts of different realms. Dream world. This is... Um, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. For me, the queens are cardinals, the kings are fixed, and the knights are mutable energy. So this is an Aries energy. Who are you? I am, says Aries. What do you know about yourself, sweet souls? Who are you? And if you're discovering, keep going, because it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. You have been through it. We've all been through, especially in a spiritual war as we're in right now, we have been through it. With the Nine of Wands, we have been through it. I don't know who said it. And I just heard it. I don't know who said this. I think it was... 
And it could have been several people, several throughout the ages. I don't know how old it is. But when you've been to hell and back, keep going, which is what this nine of, of wands speaks of. Keep going, because you don't want to stop in hell, right? Keep going. If you've been to hell and back, keep going. Don't stop in hell. Keep going. Find inner harmony. Find inner peace. Clear those vibes of that darkness. Do you see how she's surrounded by darkness and yet she feels supported by her angels? Clear your vibes. Archangel Metatron's doing his work, right? Your higher self. Yeah. Rediscover God. Find your spirituality. Who it is you are. Yes. And it could be going back through childhood memories for some of you. Finding your soul tribe with four others, finding those soul mates that are really on the same frequency, who believe in God. And I'm not saying everyone has to believe in God, but those of you, um, and it's an old saying, oh, oh, what's the saying? If, um, you if you believe in nothing, you'll fall for anything, I think it is. So there's there's something to be said about having a spiritual belief, about believing, and for me, I believe in God, right? Obviously, I'm doing these reads, right? And this Hierophant, it really speaks to your spirituality. This Hierophant really speaks to you being the student as well as the teacher. It was my dad, who is a retired teacher, who said the best teachers are lifelong students. And that's what this Six of Cups is about, finding those people who really inspire you to learn, inspire, bring you back to that sense of childlike wonder and delight. The loved ones in heaven, they're also, your focus and foundation might be on those who have passed. They're looking after you too. Self-love, yes, they're reminding you to love yourself first so that you can be there for others. King of Cups, Ace of Cups. This is the king, Scorpio energy. This is the king who knows that for him to be there for others, he's got to fill up his own cup. Fill up his own cup so much that it overflows so that he can give to all those that he loves. Shine your light is in the recent past. Justice, finding balance, finding truth, integrity, finding fairness, again, Scorpio is a very fair sign. They're the balanced king. Balanced between head and heart. There's Scorpio right there. The death process. Death and rebirth. So what you might... So what you might be discovering is that you, through the death process, are finding your light. Finding who you truly are. Balancing out head and heart. Beautiful. To move forward. And that is through forgiveness. Working on putting your walls down. For some of you, you're keeping them up. So be it. But letting those walls down. Working on forgiving yourself. Working on forgiving others. Yes, look at that. With love. That is like the sun, it's the minor to the major, of the sun is the ten of cups. The ten of cups is the most loving card in the minor, I dare say in the deck. It is, it's almost overwhelming just to, to see it clarify the forgiveness. It takes a lot of forgive. it takes a lot of love to forgive, especially with so much on a collective level, there is a bit, there is going to be, there is a lot to forgive um, on a collective level. There has been so much lies, corruption, deception that has gone on through governments, through um, uh, tech giants, through big pharma, through education systems, health systems. Like there's a lot. And there's a lot of people that need forgiveness. Um, and I dare say <laughs> those loved ones in heaven are also speaking about forgiveness. Um, 
they'll have to forgive themselves. We are not here to judge. We all know who judges at the end of the day. But we are here to forgive ourselves first so that we are able to forgive others. And we're working on, with that forgiveness, that Ten of Cups. I see the death card in this card. How you see yourselves, sweet souls, is having to make tough decisions as to who gets your time, who gets your energy, who gets your attention. Wow. We got the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. I believe that when you make these tough decisions, when you decide who is on your frequency, who is aligned with you, this is when the Ten of Cups turns into the Ten of Pentacles. When you make those change and transitions, as Azrael is there to protect you, thank you, Azrael, for leading me safely through this change. Yeah, there is some darkness going on, as we saw in the first card. And that's what's going to bring you your Ten of Pentacles your stability, your security, generational wealth. And this generational wealth has to do with love, has to do with forgiveness, has to do with justice, integrity, absolutely, has to do with finding a relationship, a very personal relationship with God, with Christ. Finding that divine Father. This is how other people see you. This is how the angels see you, that you're finding. Your, yes, there's that relationship, that relationship with God, right there, two of cups, right beside that ten of cups. There's the Queen, the Queen of Cups, which is the Divine Feminine to the Masculine in the Cup family right here. And we have a Two of Cups right there. Aligning your Masculine and Feminine energies within you, and then aligning with God. That's what I'm seeing. Accept and love yourself, sweet souls. This is what you're manifesting, self-acceptance, as you are, and the strength to do so. Don't hold back your love. Don't hold back what it is that you've learned. Don't hold back your forgiveness. Don't hold back your love of God. Don't hold back. But be strong, especially in these dark days. Be strong to keep loving, to keep going deep within. When you need to talk to your angels, when you need to pray, do so. Even if it's just in the middle of the day, you know, Lord, give me strength. Is what I, when the kids are driving me nuts, I say, Lord, give me strength. Please give me the strength to stay calm, to stay loving, to be a good mom to these kids who are just all over the place. Because they're also um, filtering and clearing of the negativity that they deal with. I'm not at that school. I'm not dealing with other people's energies. I pretty much stay by myself here at the Hundred Acre Woods, and it's my family that I really surround myself with. So I have to have the strength to help them clear their energy, to help them get outside, get moving, get talk it out. What each kid has a different way of of really clearing their vibes, right? And count your blessings. Being grateful is a key to really keeping your vibes high. Yeah and seeing those, it's a brand new Ace of Pentacles opportunity, Queen of Swords, communicating, communicating what you're grateful for, even if it's just one coin, I mentioned that earlier, <laughs> communicating what it is you're grateful for, communicating and making those tough decisions with the Two of Swords, that Queen of Swords will be able to detach from the emotions to be able to make those tough decisions. Yes, to count your blessings. Yes, to see what is being handed to you from God himself, through your angels. And that which you might not see, clarifying your spiritual gifts, is the Four of Cups. This is stabilizing your emotions at the same time. You might not be aware of your spiritual gifts because of the old program. And when I see the old program, it's that you can't do that. It's that that's only in in, um, you know, science fiction. It's only in, I don't know, in cartoons or, or uh, anime that, that these magical powers happen. So that's being indifferent. That's being bored. That's being, well, I can't do that. So why even bother trying? Raziel, Archangel Raziel wants you to realize, know, and understand that you have spiritual gifts. That's what God gave you. You 
are here to remember from previous lives that what your soul is capable, what this human body is capable of doing. Not to follow the program, but to really discover who it is you are. You're protected while doing so, while making these change in transitions. Absolutely. Let's get some angel numbers on this, sweet souls. I see four all by himself over there, right underneath Archangel Basel. Let truth be your teacher. Trust in all that you feel and let your joy lead. I see six all by itself. Take time to eliminate all that's blocking your joy as we speak. Yep, follow what makes your heart dance. I see 93. Let's do 93. Your higher self requires you to extend your meditation time in order to upgrade your energy system, which is exactly what the Hierophant talks about, to upgrade your energy system. Beautiful. Let's do 310. 310, sweet souls. You are one with your higher power. Absolutely, you're taking your power back. Know that you are loved and supported. I think this this table clearly shows that you are loved and supported. Absolutely. I see 210 twice. Let's go to 210. Because I see it twice. 210. God and angels are welcoming you back to your truth. You are reconnecting with the pathway that is right for you, sweet souls. And any numbers that you see on my table that I do not read aloud, those are personal messages for you. Get your book and take a look. If you do not have an angel numbers book, go to the description box below, click a link and grab yourself a book for all future reads. Last one. 693. Your capacity to love and to be loved is based on your capacity to know that you are deserving of love. You are deserving. Love is yours. Love is your inheritance, sweet souls. And that's what I see for you. And I'm sure I'll see you again. Take care from your forest fairy. Bye for now.